Let's check in again with Jamie. And, uh, you know, I think, wasn't it supposed to be in the 70s? It was, mm -hmm. seems like a little cooler than that, you know, right. today. Yeah, didn't quite get up there. Uh, but 68 is pretty, close still enough. pretty nice, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll take so it. So close. And sunny. Sun. And sunny, yeah, some sun breaks. But we've definitely seen some increasing clouds uh, throughout our early evening here as we check in on Canby. This is our brand new weather camera out there. Looking lovely. It is 58 degrees, mostly cloudy conditions. We'll see size has seen a few bits of sun breaks out there. Uh, plenty of people enjoying this lovely Saturday mid 50s for our shoreline. Let's talk more about those daytime highs. So yes, we were seven degrees higher than our normal for this time of year, but where it was very nice and warm up was the northern part of our shoreline. Astoria coming in at 64, 61, the high in Tillamook. Right now we're looking at 65 degrees, cloudy conditions, but we're expecting to stay dry here in Portland throughout our evening, uh, but clouds will be sticking around. You could see a sprinkle here and there, uh, but for the most part, mainly dry for us the rest of today and as we head into Sunday and very sunny for us as we wrap up our weekend. I want to note these two days where we are showing mainly dry conditions, there is still a chance of a shower here and there, maybe just a drizzle or something. Be prepared for that as we start our new week. But across our region for Sunday, expecting dry conditions. Seaside could see some measurable rain, but not even a tenth of an inch expected as we go into our Monday. Today, here's what we're looking at. Portland not included in this uh, thunderstorm potential. And really, it's central Oregon where they could see more of the damaging wind this evening. Uh, also, lightning and hail possible. We go into Sunday, and it's mostly central and eastern Oregon where that thunderstorm threat will still be sticking around for us on Sunday. We time this out though for us across our region heading into this evening mostly cloudy skies. We start our Sunday with some clearing. This is at 9 30 tomorrow morning so some sunshine out there. You could get out and do some gardening if you wanted to. Uh, lots of sunshine in our early afternoon hours and fairly nice and sunny out on the coast for most of our Sunday. Increasing clouds though Sunday night and really Monday is that day where it's going to be very cloudy and that's where you could also see some sprinkles. We see those little green pockets in there. Light rain is a possibility for our Monday, but to Tuesday we do really start to dry out. Government camp right now, blue skies just a little bit. I mean, it's cloudy, but there's some blue skies in there. I see it uh, right now. It's 49 degrees light rain up at government camp. But by the time we get to Monday and into Tuesday, that's where uh, government camp could start to see their snow chances increase. They haven't seen any uh, snow up there in the last few days for our coast tomorrow. Low to mid 50s for a daytime high and a mix of sun and clouds. The sunny afternoon, though, that's what you can expect out there for us up and down the valley. A bit cooler as you make your way down I-5. Corvallis expected to get to 64. Well, we're looking at the upper 60s for our daytime high tomorrow, uh, but mostly sunny, especially once we get past our mid-morning hours. You're going to see plenty of sun out there across the metro area. So with a sunny Sunday afternoon, maybe Maybe get your taxes done tonight if you haven't already. A few sprinkles expected Monday and possibly Tuesday, but by midweek, Lisa, that's when we really see that sunshine. We start to warm up again and then uh, we will be dry. So grab your sunglasses there Wednesday and Thursday. All right. You're promising those 70s coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thanks, Jamie. Hey,